Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in Philippians chapter 3, verse 7, and it goes like this. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. You know, during my devotion this morning, I was once again reminded of how selfish, yeah, I am. As humans, in general, we seem to be in search of satisfaction with what I have and what I've done in my life and what I've seen in my life. But Paul points out the things that we have gathered or gained for ourselves. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. When I draw my last breath, the things that I've gained for my satisfaction have not helped build the kingdom of God. This is quite an eye-opener for me. I'd never thought of it that way. I don't know if you had or not. I never considered the things that I have accomplished and the things that I've piled up for myself. The, you know, that look, look what I did or look what I got. It's all laid up for not. I mean, it's, it means absolutely nothing. Mm -mm. We all need to be kingdom builders. Yeah. You know, building up God's kingdom and, and not just our earthly kingdom. Uh, you know, everything here on earth that we build up is just going to burn in fire. That's what the Bible tells us. But you know, when we build things for the Lord in his kingdom, they can't be stolen. Rust will never destroy them. Moss will never eat away at these heavenly things. No, they won't. You know, I've been to a lot of funerals and preached quite a few myself. And as I peer over at the deceased, I've never seen piles of $100 bills or stacks of silver or gold bullion just lying in the casket. No, no. No, that's earthly treasures. Folks, let's build for the kingdom of God. Not this earthly stuff, no. So, you know, the way that we can build for the kingdom of God, and that's telling our neighbor about the Lord and what he's done for you. You know, just, just tell them about Jesus and his love and how he died for us. That's being a kingdom builder. It certainly is. Because what we, what we try to stack up over here, it ain't going to be here long. It'll all burn up. May God richly bless you. I love you a bit better yet. Jesus loves you. <laughs> yep, he died on that cross for us. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.